Let's zoom in to hop in. It smells like paint. Ugh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for this video because I'm finally going to get to try out the products I received in my boxy charm. So this box is huge compared to the regular one. Let me show you guys. It is huge and I did open it like twice to show my sister and a couple other family members, but I didn't try any of the products since I wanted to just wait to show you guys on camera. So I've been waiting for this because I did receive it a couple days ago, so it's been very hard for me to not use the products. Don't forget to subscribe. I will be telling you guys the price points of every product. And then at the end, I will be showing you the total amount of the box. And then I'll be trying on some of the products, not all of them, of course, because I'm sure I'm not going to be able to use all of them, but I will try my best. But without further ado, let's just get into the video. So the theme this month is Tis the Season. That's, you know, usually a holiday thing, but it's Sea Sun, which is perfect for Miami because we don't get winter. There are nine products in this box and then all the names and everything are on here as well as some coupons so the regular box is 21 dollars a month you get five full-size products and then this boxy looks box that's what they call it the big box is called boxy looks you get it four times a year three times every three months okay so it's four times a year three times a month <laughs> guys like i can't even talk so it's four times a year every three months and you will be paying an extra fee of 20 dollars or is it 28.99 i'm not exactly sure but it comes out to about 50 dollars for the big box every three months i love makeup so of course i had to get it and yeah so let's just get into the products all right so what i have here is this little bag it says glam af and then inside it brings a portable charger which i think is pretty cool it says crimes of beauty and then it has um connection for an iphone and an android it smells like rubber it reminds me of like beach balls I love that smell. <laughs> it's so weird. So the bag with the portable charger is $22. Then this pretty vulgar translucent powder says the powder room 147 matte about it translucent setting powder. So this powder is $32. Then we have this. It's a body wash infused buffer. So this is like a sponge that already has soap in it. So this is twenty dollars. Let's smell it. I have a thing with smelling things. Okay, so oh, it smells pretty good. So it's a little star. Then we have this Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. So this on its own is eighty nine dollars. So, wow, that's a lot for a face cream. Um, it's an anti-wrinkle day cream for fine lines and wrinkles, firm, smooths, and hydrates. I pretty much know what I use for my skincare, so things like this I don't really use. I know my mom uses a lot of collagen creams, so I will be giving this to my mom because I know I'm not going to use it. And then, so this is one of my favorites. So I'm so excited to receive this. This is a Luxie Complete Face Set. This brush set is $65. So you get a variation of some eye brushes and some face brushes. There's a spoolie in here, which you could use to brush out your eyelashes or your eyebrows. And then a lip brush as well. Then I got this Grande Mascara Lash Boosting Formula. Always. It never fails. <laughs> This one is $25. So this I'm not going to be able to use because I got eyelash extensions, which 
I honestly never thought I would get them, but my sister just finished an eyelash course and she started doing eyelash extensions and she wanted to use me as her model. So I was like, of course, that's my sister. I need to support the hustle. So here I am with eyelashes on and therefore I won't be able to use mascara because some of them have already fallen off and I don't want to keep like making them fall off. And then I received a Tartiste Shimmering Lip Paint. So this is $20 and it's in the shade Insta Famous. It's actually very cute. I do see myself using this. And now for the eyeshadow palettes. So I am very, very excited to be trying out this brand, Violet Voss. For a while now, I've been wanting to buy one of their palettes, but I just never got around to it. So I am excited to finally be trying out this brand. So this palette is worth $45. It's called Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadows. And in the back it says, hashtag my holy grail. Ooh, I already saw this guys. So <laughs> it's not that surprising. It comes with 20 highly pigmented eyeshadow shades ranging in finish from creamy matte to bold metallic and silky satin. So as you guys can see, these are the shades. Very beautiful. These are more like your everyday natural kind of shades. So I have a lot of these palettes already with these colors. We might be using this in today's video. Finally, another eyeshadow palette. This is the Protégé, I don't know if that's how you say it, from Suva Beauty. And this one is worth $34. These are the shades. So again, pretty neutral shades. I do like the mirror on it. Very nice, very nice. So maybe, maybe I'll use both eyeshadow palettes, who knows. For this month's box, for the regular box and for the boxy Lux box, they were either going to give you this eyeshadow palette or they were going to give you a mini iron by the brand PYT. And for the boxy Lux box, I did receive an email and they did ask me whether I wanted to receive this eyeshadow palette or the iron. And I chose this eyeshadow palette because the iron was a very small iron and I have very thick hair. So even though it's small, travel size, regardless, wherever I go travel, if I have to take my iron I take my regular iron and that small iron won't it'll take me like twice the amount of time that it'll take me to iron my hair with my regular iron so I decided that you know why not let me just get another eyeshadow palette okay so the total of this box is $352 and I think that's an amazing deal because again you pay like $50 for it so $352 worth of products in this box just for $50 I think that's amazing now let's get to the true Ryan portion okay so I'm gonna start priming my eyelids with my Tarte Shape Tape starting with the shade called transition for transition <laughs> that's actually perfect so I'm gonna go into the shade and this is the tapered blending brush top of that i'm going to be going in with the shade are you kidding me <laughs> that is so cute with the same brush <music> below those two shades i'm gonna be using brownie points it's the eye shading 213 brush.
lid shade. I'm going to be using the Suva Beauty palette and I'm going to go into this shade right here called Balance. It's like an orangey copper shade. And then for the inner part of my lid, I'm going to go back to the Violet Voss palette and use the shade How You Doing. For the outer corner, I'm gonna use the shade Teddy Bear. And I'm just gonna use the same brush that I used before, which is the Eye Shading 213 brush. Okay, so now onto the face. I'm gonna be using this CoverGirl foundation. It's M20 Warm Beige True Blend Matte Made. I'm not sure if this matches me because I received this in a box from Influencer. So I guess we'll just have to find out. And I'm gonna be using the Round Top Blending Brush. I'm gonna be going over it with a damp beauty blender because I do feel like the foundation looks kind of cakey and that is why I don't like using brushes. So surprisingly the color does match my skin and that is great. And for concealer I'm gonna be using the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. For powder, I'm going to be using the Pretty Vulgar Translucent Powder, and I actually already have this brush. So the purpose of this brush is actually meant to be used for highlighter, but I usually use this for my under eyes for powder. But since I have two, I'll use it for powder, and then I'll use this one for my highlighter, and we'll see how that works out. Oh, and it brings this cute little powder puff, which I'll also be using for the rest of my face. bronzer I'm gonna use the NYX matte bronzer and I'm gonna use the pro precision face brush For blush, I'm going to be using the Pretty Vulgar in Sweet Revenge with my favorite blush brush by Real Techniques. So for my under eyes, I'm going to be using the Flat Definer 2 to 1 brush and I'm going to go in with the shades transition and are you kidding me and then on the outer part i'm gonna mix the shades brownie points and teddy bear for inner corner highlight i'm gonna use the shade era from the suva beauty palette now 
Now for highlighter, I'm gonna use this Morphe highlighter in the shade Spark. And I'm gonna be using the Tapered Highlighter Brush. And since I always seem to forget, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set Setting Spray. Now for lips, I got this Rimmel Matte Lipstick. It's 708 Moi. Wow, so I think this is the first time I ever find a nude that actually matches me. Like, it's literally perfect. But of course, I'm not just going to leave it like that because I did receive this a lip paint. My thoughts on this i love the color i love the application but it does have a stopper inside so it and it's like it gets a lot of the product so it's pretty hard like when you take it out you barely get any product but it does make it hard to get enough on your lips you have to dip it like five times before it really shows up a lot so it's a little like if you're in a hurry definitely do not reach for this because you know you like you need time to really like dip that like five times so this is the final look overall i am super happy with all the products that i did get to try out i do highly recommend boxycharm for whoever has been, you know, debating whether to get it or not, I definitely recommend it. I've been able to try out so many new brands and products that I would have never reached for. And it's helped me grow my makeup collection so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe down below. Let me know in the comment section below what other looks you guys would like to see or what other kinds of videos you guys would like to see. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching.